Okay, we're back for another week of MPK Live, episode 75. And it's just a brief one today. Europe. Uh, is the UK better in or out? And we talk about this based not solely on the hydroponics industry and what effects it might have on, on us and on our industry and what we buy and where we buy it from. So maybe not quite interesting for our US followers and the Australians, anyone that's out of Europe. But for the guys in the UK, and maybe it is interesting for people out of the EU, have a little listen. And the take-home message is, whatever your opinions are, just make sure you go and vote on Thursday the 23rd because it's important that you have your say. It's a short podcast. We've kept it to about 15 minutes long. Because politics is boring. Yeah, we hate politics, but we thought it was an issue that we felt was relevant at this time in our country, so we just brought it up. But don't worry, next episode we're straight back to hydroponics. So don't 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 fear. This is a one off politics podcast. No political broadcast, but man and Thomas's opinions and some of the wholesalers' opinions on whether we are better in or out of Europe. Enjoy. So we're back, it's Sunday the 19th, and we are talking about Britain's potential exit from Europe. Now I know you use listeners who will be going, oh for fuck's sake, this is going to be boring, I want more hydroponics, but we're talking about that impact leaving Europe or staying in Europe could have on the UK's hydroponic industry. So for you guys in everywhere else that's not in Europe, feel free to listen, but it's not really quite, it's not really relevant to the US and Australia really and Canada it's not really relevant to you guys so you might want to just listen to what we've got to say about it and see what see what MPK has got to say about in or out Thomas you're with us as always yeah as always we're here again once again so um, we're going to try and we might do devil's advocate and make it a little bit more interesting try and give two sides of the argument uh, sometimes you might give opinions that aren't ours uh, we might try and give a, the, the breadth of opinions to try and cover all subjects but We'll start off with the little survey that I did, do you reckon? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so I rang round all of the, or as many wholesalers and manufacturers as I could at the beginning of the week, and I asked them, did they think that the UK would be better in of, in Europe or out of Europe? And to discount anything to do with immigration or NHS or anything that, that you base your normal opinions on and just base your opinion on economics and the impact of the hydroponics industry. So, how many people got back to me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, what we what we're trying to get to is we're only talking about this at this present time. Is just to see, ask ask ask, ask some some questions. Basically, is is think? is this decision? Is this poll? You know, whether we're in or out. Does it have an effect on hydroponics? Yeah. Does it have an effect on where we get our products from, where we import our products from? Because a lot of our nutrients and lighting and soils and pots and stuff, some come as far from China to Holland, the US, you know. So we don't really know. It. In particular, myself, I'm not an expert on government rules and policies politics. and mm. politics and mm. all of that just politics as a whole to be honest mm. with you so at first i was a bit maybe a bit naive I probably assumed that it wouldn't affect us and then we started talking about yeah, it didn't we yeah. in the shop and then i realized because we do import stuff would, would then products become less available or would they be at a higher cost where would that leave us yeah. as a hydroponics store so that's what we're just having a little discussion about today. Mm. Well, the wholesalers, I'd say, 70% of wholesalers and manufacturers of hydroponic equipment that I interviewed, uh, they won't be named because it's a personal yeah. issue, isn't it? Yeah. But 70% of them think they would be better in Europe. Yeah. And we respect the, 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 their the, opinions, yeah. yeah. And they gave us opinions because they thought that... I'll give a little insight as well. That the percent, the 70% that thought they were better in, the majority of them buy products from Europe. Then there was two companies. There was like just another twenty percent. Sorry, another twenty percent thought wouldn't make a difference in or out. We're not really bothered. We're ha- we're going to crack on. They're not going to affect us in any way. And then there was ten percent that thought it would be better out. Now, the people that want to stay in, generally, 
they buy from Europe and they think that there's going to be longer shipping terms, more red tape. You're going to have to pay fees and sign up with each individual yeah. country. And the people that wanted that were happy to come out and, and think, let's see what it does, they tend to manufacture their own stuff. So they're not really too closely tied with Europe. They, they manufacture the majority of what they sell and, and they're happy to, to give it a go and see what happens when we come out. Been a lot of scaremongering going on now between the two parties, hasn't yeah. There? Well, they will be, and and, and that's something because I'm not heavily into politics. I, I don't keep up with what party does which, and so I don't really know who to believe and know. whether it's the truth or they've, they've done themselves a disadvantage because I'm not bothered. You know, I won't say I'm not bothered. You know, when it comes to general elections, and you vote for your party. Yeah. I don't listen to them because they're all a bunch of liars. Yeah, and because we know that when we're looking to them to, to cast a vote or to tell us what's happening in Europe, which is going to have a major impact whatever happens to the country. It's going to have a big impact. I don't believe any of them. They all come out with the figures that, that promote their agenda. You know what I was interested in, though? You know, say, for instance, we, we go it alone. We we opt out of the yeah. EU. Do you, do you think that would have an impact on laws and regulations, on banned products and mm. certain other things? Yeah. You know, the impacts of that, would we then follow suit because we're more independent? Would we follow suit to maybe America and stuff like that because we come under EU laws as well, do we? Yeah, well, a lot of... I don't know the I, figures, but somebody says 30%, some people say 60% of our laws are made by European Union. If we come out of the EU, we make up the majority of our, of our own laws. Some of them we still have to adhere to European laws, but the, the, the amount of laws that... They make a, a lot less if we vote out. I think for myself, Stephen, because I don't really understand it, so I can't really give give any facts because I don't really know many facts about it all because it, it's quite complicated to mm-hmm. me. It's probably like so, some people, as we say, when they first start out upon it, yeah, it, yeah. it's very daunting task. It, yeah. Politics is that for me. The one thing I do feel personally is probably we've been in this EU for a long, long time. Yeah. Pro- since I was a child. Yeah, yeah. So I don't really know what it's like to be out of the EU. But one thing I do think is, if we can't go it alone, we don't, we're don't. we not really much of a, an island, are we? We're no. not really much of a Britain. Mm. And that's a bit of a scary concept. But me being British, I would like to see if we can go it alone. Yeah. Whatever that entails. I don't know, honestly, hand on heart... What, what? Every action has a reaction, and I can't tell you the unforeseen. I don't even know if there's actual data to st- say. Right, this is the facts. This when when if you opt out, this is the list of things that's going to change from that day. Yeah. I don't even know if that that well that people pretend that that exists. But you know, if anybody if anybody tells you that, do you know what's going to happen when? we leave Europe, or if we leave Europe, I should say, the liars, right, because nobody right. knows what's going to happen. It's a complete but unknown. But these politicians, and Look when I'm listening believe. to the parties, because yeah. I've had a little listen, and, and, and they sound like me sometimes when they go off on a rant, and they sound very convincing. And yeah, yeah. I was listen, I've listened to a few, both sides of the argument, and they, they both got me convinced, yeah. and they believe that their answer is the answer, and it's, it, it's 100% categorically that way mm-hmm. do you not think that's right no they're very very convincing like you say have you noticed what I notice I love body language I love what people tra- are saying well, without the, saying the, it these politicians I've seen the trained by them yeah by the people and they tell them to do the certain actions with the thumb they, they make a fist and they put the thumb over the top of the and fingers and they have this old and script point. wrote out for them they yeah, don't write professionals the, yeah yeah, yeah. And they have the answers and to be fair watch David Cameron on his question time and I'm not a big fan of the fella, but you know what? He, he he took it well. Some of them questions that he got given by the audience were heavy. Some some English literature girl said, "Listen, I know a waffler when I see one, and you're waffling, so let me talk." And he just had a, he just got crushed in, in the line answers. It was made up to see that, but he handled himself well. And yeah, I've had me thinking. Do you think that you've led me on to another one of my theories about our politicians? Yeah. Now. Is a politician's job to look after us, the people, and our policies? Yeah. Yeah. And our, our, what's the word? Way of life. Yeah. 
Or is it to be very good at giving the right answers when required? Yeah. Is yeah. it being good at handling awkward situations under pressure to a vast amount of people? And make them is awkward. it just to be a public person to take the beating for all of the stuff that goes on? Mm. I think about question. that often. Well, what if, do they actually make the decisions? They don't appear to make any decisions. Well, you know what? We well, we may as well get it all out on this podcast while we're talking politics because we don't ever talk politics no. as a raw subject sometimes. I bores the life out of me, to be honest. And media, your Rupert Murdoch's your own sky and your Daily Mirror and your, your Daily Express and what have you, all the newspapers, I believe the country is run by media. I believe they are more powerful than any Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah. And, and more powerful the media than can government. make or break a Prime Minister. One story, a mm. scandal. Yeah. We've seen it before in the past. Yeah. Boof. There you go. How many politicians? One, one, one bad story by the newspapers, and they are done. Yeah, they they've got no control over the the media. Uh, the media gives them their funds to do the campaigning. But you so, know what's funny? We say the media, but it's really the people, because it's the people who make the decision who turn against everybody and out them. Yeah, the media just publicises a piece of propaganda. Yeah, and, and then it, they let it run. And it's the the people, the people that, that energise it. Yeah, yeah. All it is is words on paper. Yeah. It's the people that bring it to life, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah. true that. And it, and you've got, you've just reminded me of something that I saw, and it was on a cartoon. It was called, I think it was a Bug's Life. You go onto YouTube, type in a Bug's Life, and the the I can't remember what friggin' insect it is. Now. Ant. The ants are yeah. the people. Yeah. Okay, and then you've got the locusts. I think it is the locusts or the grasshoppers. And there's only a few locusts. There's only a few of them, but they bully the ants. And then they're all having this party and they're all drinking the water. And the big ant, the leader, is really annoyed with them all. And he stops them all, he says, what are you all partying for? And they're all like, because we've beaten the ants and we've done this and he have done that. And he goes, do you know that those ants outnumber us 100 to 1? And everyone shuts up and he goes, let me give you an example. And he's got three of his locusts and he gets this little nugget of food and throws it at them and he goes did, did that hurt and he goes no and he gets another one and he goes boom throws it at them and he goes did that hurt he went no how about this bang opens the food store and a million of these foods just crush all of the locusts and he goes if one hand stands up to you you've got to crush him because if they all think that they can all get together they will all crush you yeah. and it's a I only noticed that a few weeks ago it's a very it's a message within a children's cartoon <laughs> yeah the politicians, they they supposedly run our country for the best. And I don't think the people know how much power they've actually got. Mm. Because if we team up to activate change in the country, why haven't we got that passion to, to, for change? We've gone off on a bit of a tangent yeah, there. Yeah, we've gone off Let's reel it back in anyway. So what? So the point that you were making is... I've forgotten because we've gone off on some <laughs> oh, I've forgotten as well. <laughs> let's move on to... Okay, let's, let's... If we stay in, what does it mean for the hydroponics industry? I think it the means... Same. Yeah, the same. But we're still doing the same thing. If you're happy with how things are going and you, you would like it to stay the same, then to do with the hydroponics and to do with your way of life now, I would I would vote to well, stay. See me, I'm going to tell you is what I think. I I I'm going to vote to change mm. because I I'm different. I I don't like to do the, you know what I'm like. Steve. I don't like to do the same thing all the time. I don't really know a hundred percent what it entails to change and to be out, but I'm willing to give it a go. I think a lot of the scam. If we go people. in, if we go out, so we say, oh, okay, we can't be bothered this this year. Mm. We go out. Can we go back in? No. What? Why? Why can't you? Because there's a rule. Oh come on! To be honest, I don't know the answer to that. No, we but can. You can just, just... no. They're just saying that so to, to the, make a stay. They're saying that maybe to make an ultimatum, make the vote mm. more important. But I do believe if you vote out, I've heard that the votes. There was something on the telly or the news the other day. Something about after people haven't even aren't even allowed to vote. Yeah, because they fucking messed up the way to get your ticket to vote, didn't they? Mm. Like well, the that, yeah, I've regi- I went registered and I registered. You see me register yeah. six weeks ago, and to be honest, <laughs> if you don't only up and send me the thing, I'm not even getting a vote anyway. I haven't sent you your card yet. Nope. Yeah. Nope. A lot of people have had problems on the website because it was crashing because that many people were registered. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Mm, so what does that mean if, if if it all doesn't work on the day, we just stay in? So maybe they know that the people that have registered to vote are more than likely 
to v- because the in. website's crashing there's that much traffic because people are thinking oh yeah let's have a go with this yeah and then the people that are voting out might leave it to the last minute and they make it crash conspiracies mm. what do you what do you what would you say to somebody that says because I reckon a few of our listeners think this that it doesn't matter which way you vote because whatever the governments whatever the big wigs whatever the Illuminati mm. if we have one of them Whatever they want, they will get either way. If they want us out, we'll be out. If they want us to stay in, we'll end up being in. Through one mean or another, we will they we will just do what they want. Do you follow that? Thought? To be honest, I probably do a bit. Mm. But then in a way, you can't just think like that because if you do and you don't do a vote, you'll never know. So you're putting you you're putting it into that perspective purposely for them. Yeah. Because of your narrow mindedness, which I have got a bit of, because I do believe that. I do believe that we don't really have much of a say if we mm. if they don't want us to. But if you don't, if you don't do a vote, we won't know. So I'd rather have the vote and try. Then give it up and know that it's never going to change. Yeah, I suppose it's like playing the lottery. A lot of people wish that they had millions. I know that they win the lottery, but they don't play. Yeah, you've got to be in it to win it. Yeah, and I only say that because I'm one of them. Yeah, but uh, you've also we heard me on saying many a times that you've got to make your own money. And, yeah, make your own make money. your own luck in this world. Yeah, so and I'm a firm believer of that. Mm. So in or out, it's it's a tough one. It is, and um, we've discussed briefly. We didn't want to go on too much no. about our opinions on in or out. We just wanted to bring it up so everyone had a little think about it because yeah. it wasn't something that I was even thinking about. It I didn't think it had affect us at all, and until some people mentioned it, and we had a little few discussions. So we just thought we'd highlight it because it's something that's happening in the UK. Yeah. Very soon. Yeah. Next week. It's on Thursday, actually. Yeah. So this Thursday. So the most important take-home message is that go and vote and go and make your voice heard. We've been talking about in or out of Europe and trying to base it on what impact it have on the hydroponics industry. But obviously, the decision is much bigger than that. You've got to think about all aspects of how it could impact the UK. We're not going to give our opinions on that because it's just too much of a big subject. But all I'll say to you is don't be led down the garden path by silly memes on on Facebook and and pictures of people showing who supports in and who supports out and the people that are out are idiots and the people that are in are all millionaires. Whatever it is, the media's there to try and push you one way or another. Look at the facts, look at what is affecting you and your family and vote what is right for you and in your heart. Don't be led by anybody. Don't even be led by us. Make up your own opinions, do your own research, because it's a big decision, and go out there and vote on Thursday. And if any of the um, politicians are listening and they want to come on the show, you can't. (laughs) Because we don't have you on our show. Unless you want to come and talk about law reform. We might talk about law reform, it might be. Well, it depends what 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 pati- laws, what particular what, laws what it might act, be. What particular act you want to discuss, but yeah, okay. Yeah, we, I might allow you into the studio <laughs> for that. I know David messaged me the other day, actually. <laughs> we didn't have actually any much time for David Cameron on this year's podcast, so maybe we, we are year. really busy, you see. Yeah. <laughs> got a load of green peas and needs a pot up. Yeah, see. yeah, on the allotment. Listen, make your vote, make it count. And let's get back to hydroponics. We'll yeah. be back to hydroponics next week. Yeah, because I've nearly fell asleep already off this one. So yeah. I do um, apologise. Go and entertain yourselves. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Make the vote count. Get out there and enjoy growing. Thank you for listening to this bit of a weird one, but yeah. we thought we had to mention it. Yeah. And enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye.